uh, Professor Zhou Peng received his uh, bachelor and PhD degree in physics uh, from Fudan University in 2000 and 2005. So he is currently the full professor on novel electronic devices and process in School of uh, Microelectronics, Fudan University. Uh, he is a winner of a uh, uh, National Science Fund for Distinguished Young Scholars in 2019, which is called uh, Jie Qing in uh, China. And he is also the young and mid-aged leading talents of uh, Ministry of Science and Technology in 2018, and many other awards. So he has uh, authored or co-authored more than 100 journal papers on nature and technology and so on. So without further uh, introduction, let's uh, welcome Professor Zhou Peng to give us a, a, a talk on the role of 2D material infusion with uh, silicon ICs. Uh, it's okay. now your turn, Professor Zhou Peng. Thank you, Professor Gao, and uh, thank you for your kind of invitation and introduction. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's very uh, great, uh, it's very glad to have this opportunity uh, in such a special seminar. And I'm Peng Zhou from Fudan University, China. And today, my topic is the role of 2D materials infusion with silicon integrated circuits. So I will start my, uh, my presentation and maybe about 50, uh, 45 minutes. And my topic, uh, uh, roughly is uh, from three parts. And this, uh, the first one, I want to talk about how 2D materials has a new way to use the silicon uh, ICs challenge. You know, if we want to develop uh, uh, new materials, you must uh, to find an application for it. And uh, maybe a lot of researchers and scientists uh, want to ask how the 2D materials going to go to in electro electronic device. So, Today, I wanted to talk my thinking about th these questions. Uh, the first one is how to is the silicon ICs challenge and what's the uh, problem of silicon ICs development. And the second one is uh, how can we use the unique properties and uh, to, uh, to the materials to create some new technology here and uh, to uh, develop new uh, applications. And the third one, uh, uh, if you want to uh, get a real application, you must have the integration issue, and uh, we I will give a perspective here and to uh, discuss uh, with uh, with uh, uh, our scientists. And it's my uh, the whole uh, presentation's uh, outline. And the first one, the first part, I think the two D materials. Uh, if you want to uh, uh, further development, uh, you must uh, face the, the the challenge of the silicon IC. You may, a lot of people uh, want to see how, uh, why we use the 2D materials in electronic devices. Here uh, we know and the static analysis problem is the energy and area efficiency and uh, we face the uh, uh, memory dilemma here. Yeah, in this field, uh, uh, in recent years, I uh, do some work, uh, uh, do some research about 2D uh, multi-bridge channel fight and the DS fight and the T fight and so on. And uh, we also developed a new concept of uh, so-called uh, two surface channel fight and SRAM uh, and the uh, uh, semi floating gate memory and the course and non tail memory of uh, such technologies. And, <clears throat> and in the past two, we wanted to use the 2D materials, the unique uh, uh, properties to create some new technologies. And uh, I call I uh, named it uh, the technology as uh, all-in-one device. The so all-in-one uh, named uh, such as the sense, sense memory and uh, processing in integration, but not in one system. Uh, only in one device. We, if we uh, uh, fully uh, uh, develop the, uh, de develop the two D materials, and we can uh, get uh, one device can uh, realize such uh, functions in only one device. Here we will introduce the Peng Neumann bottleneck and uh, how uh, 2D materials uh, use uh, in-memory computing or in-sensor computing. And uh, uh, finally, we get the sense memory uh, computing fueling systems. And, uh, uh, and uh, in the outlook, we will uh, want to 
uh, introduce the uh, vanvars the uh, hydro structures how to integration compatible with the silicon ICs. you know the silicon ic still uh, dominate the whole world so if you want to develop a new technology you need to uh, think how to compatible how to uh, how to uh, work together with uh, sidecars. Uh, the first one we wanted to introduce uh, was the silicon ICs, uh, the trends and the challenges. And uh, as we all know, the Moore's law is coming to an end and uh, it's, a, it's a very normal uh, starting. So you can see the uh, development of silicon integrated, integrated circuits uh, slows down. You can see from the picture, you can see the shrinking the side of the transistor uh, could it, uh, could it improve the ICs in performance, but uh, but uh, you uh, now we have faced the physical limit. You if you uh, if you want to uh, continue the scaling down, we must uh, face the uh, quantum limitation and the short channel uh, short, short, short channel effect and so on. <clears throat> so how uh, how to uh, uh, continue the high performance growth? It's become the unsustainable uh, nowadays, and. Uh, uh, I will introduce uh, the short channel effect uh, for a uh, uh, concept here and uh, in briefly. And <clears throat> you, you know, if the source and the drain uh, uh, electrode, if not, uh, if not very near, uh, we can, uh, the gate can uh, turn it on and turn it off efficiently. But if we, uh, if we turn the source and the drain, uh, the uh, uh, electrode is very close and the it is a short channel effect uh, will, will, will appear. And because the gate cannot uh, effectively turn on the channel and turn off the channel. So there are a lot of leakage current. So the energy uh, deception is not uh, is, is, is inevitable. The, uh, therefore, in the industry uh, field, the gate all around the technology uh, has uh, appeared. And uh, uh, in the gate all around all the GA transistor, you can see we can uh, we can get the better electrostatic uh, effect and the short uh, and the short channel control, and uh, so if we use the uh, GAE uh, transistor, uh, so called also multi channel multi bridge channel uh, fight, uh, it can enable the larger uh, drive current, and it uh, it uh, also has a, a development roadmap from the pl uh, planetary uh, plan uh, planetary structure and to the vertical structure uh, such as the fun fight and if we continue uh, the scaling down we uh, get the, we should uh, go to the g transistor first is nanoware and the sooner uh, the people find the uh, nanoware cannot uh, cannot provide the enough uh, current uh, open current so uh, the samsung uh, proposed a new concept uh, means the nano sheet and another issue is the area efficiency. If we still uh, continue uh, to scaling down, and uh, actually we cannot really uh, reach the physical limitation. You, you know, in the uh, in the nowadays, the so-called the uh, integrated circuits te uh, technology nodes, it, the, actually the physical uh, the physical uh, channel where uh, channel lines is still uh, still keep the uh, uh, about twenty nanometers. And if we want to uh, get a uh, get a more uh, area in FACI, we want to find a new way to, uh, here. And in the conventional uh, the logic gate, you know, if we real uh, uh, such as we realize the at logic gate, you need the two transistor in the plenary uh, in, in the wafer. So you you need the two uh, uh, double double space to uh, allow this uh, uh, logic gate uh, uh, work. And if we if we can fold it, and uh, in the vertical uh, in the vertical uh, dimension, so if, if we can also uh, save the area in the wafer. So uh, we uh, we uh, fully uh, use the two D material uh, unique uh, performance uh, properties, and we can realize the new uh, transistors. And uh, uh, so we can uh, we can uh, get the uh, the new uh, logic gates. And another uh, issue is the uh, memory dilemma. And you know, uh, in the nowadays in the chip, uh, the uh, ninety percent area actually is occupied by the memory uh, memory uh, part, and the logic actually is very small. 
So if we want uh, and uh, uh, yeah uh, and other, uh, yeah other words and the memory also the speed uh, the memory the speed of the memory cannot uh, get, uh, cannot catch the logic speed. So there is a very big gap uh, between the logic speed and the memory speed. Uh, we can see from this picture, we can see the, how the uh, memory developed, uh, divided from the SRAM and the cache and the DRAM and the flash from the uh, capacity and the speed. You, you cannot get the capacity and the speed uh, 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 both. And, uh, uh, and also, uh, if we want to realize the fast speed, but you cannot uh, get the high uh, long retaining time, so if we can re uh, realize a new uh, universal memory, we uh, also have the high speed and the long rotation and the uh, uh, high capacity. It, uh, we call it the so-called the universal memory and also the low cost. Uh, uh, it's very uh, useful to, uh, uh, to uh, improve the performance of static ICs. So why 2D materials can, uh, can use the challenge, challenges in static ICs? We can see the, uh, it, it uh, can be attributed to the uh, unique properties of the 2D materials. The first one is the layered artisan uh, characteristics. You know, uh, it's very normal, it's very uh, common sense. It actually is a common sense uh, today. And uh, the 2D materials has the artisan, uh, the single layer, uh, single layer atomic uh, thickness. And another, uh, another, uh, a uh, good, uh, good point is the uh, uh, 2D materials has a rich bond structure. We can, through the energy bond engineering and from the graphene to the uh, bar nitride, we can get the uh, nearly the bond gap is zero and the, to the bond gap is an uh, insulator about uh, 50, uh, about uh, 6.5 uh, elect, uh, EV. And so uh, the, the first one, how to uh, how to is the uh, silicon assays uh, challenge? The first one is two uh, D materials is very useful and uh, interest uh, interesting nature born the advantage for the uh, MBC structures. And uh, as we can see uh, in two D materials, the pioneer scientist has realized how to the uh, uh, the first one is uh, the naturally net sheet with smooth surface and how to control uh, the the in the one nanometer to control the gate on and off. Uh, in the Ali Javi in the science. Uh, and uh, we also organi uh, organized some new uh, performance in, in, in this one and uh, in atomic thickness and uh, still has the high uh, mobility. So we can use the 2D materials to, uh, to promise, is promising for the low power and uh, uh, high performance assays. Uh, in, uh, 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 of course, it also has the uh, integration wafer, wafer level single uh, crystal 2D materials also, and uh, by the, uh, about uh, TSMC, a, a, a lot of scientists, uh, uh, including the legend Lee, also published uh, a lot of papers. We have got the good, uh, high quality, high quality uh, wafer scale uh, 2D materials nowadays. So the IRDS and the international roadmap for the device and systems also uh, also shows uh, 2D materials is uh, promising. Uh, candidates for future channel materials in uh, ICs. And uh, in, uh, uh, very recently, Professor Duan also has a nature perspective, uh, think it's the, uh, the chance for 2D transistors. Uh, also, uh, uh, it is a uh, line within the complementary technologies. It, it's uh, uh, very difficult to realize by silicon. So we can show all some uh, some works uh, to demonstrate it. And the uh, first one is the silicon uh, is the MPC fight. We can see the now the the uh, state of the art technology is the uh, seven level stacked uh, silicon MPC fight. And the on the I uh, the uh, on current is about this and off current is this. But uh, for the silicon, if you uh, uh, continue to decrease the thickness. The mobility will degrade degre very, uh, very soon. And uh, but for the 2D materials, we still mobility even in the single uh, atomic layer. So uh, we demonstrated in the IBM about this. We uh, just uh, uh, stacked the two. Uh, one is the monolayer uh, uh, 
Molybdenum MOS2 uh, channel, and uh, another is the Bilir MOS2 channel. We can see from uh, only, uh, we just use the only two channels, we can get the uh, seven levels that the MPC fed uh, uh, by SETCOM. And uh, meanwhile, the most important is the, uh, is the off current. You know, uh, in the, uh, actually in the, in the system, the most uh, uh, energy efficiency uh, is uh, limit limited by the off current. So we can uh, get uh, only the uh, 6.5% of the silicon ICs. So also the drive current of two levels that the 2D MP spike is 400% that of normal, the, uh, uh, normal transistors. And the leakage is a two orders of magnitude below that the silicon MPC fat. So it, it is a great, greatly hyper for, uh, for leakage control. Uh, another uh, uh, option uh, uh, besides the MPC fat, another option uh, using the uh, 2D materials is the DS fat. DS fat, the direct source uh, fat is uh, proposed by the uh, Professor Peng uh, Mao, okay, from Peking University, and they use the uh, uh, nanotube, carbon nanotube. But for the graphene, it's also uh, still very, 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 very well. You know, for the fight, if we get the sharp uh, substrate swing, we we call it SS. It's very small. It's a, it's a sm the value is smaller, and the energy efficiency is very uh, good. So we can use the a DS fat can get the uh, 30 uh, 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 millivolt per decade. And here we can introduce the GA structure to DS fat and further to it drops to the 30, 33.5. And so uh, we can, the drive current is increased also uh, by the 40%. And we compare the uh, different uh, uh, technologies such as MOSFET, TFET, and NC fat. And uh, with our uh, DS fight, we can uh, get the high on current and the lower uh, SS. <clears throat> in, uh, in the uh, SS, also uh, another technology is the T fight, tunneling fight. But uh, for the silicon uh, tunneling fight, we, can, uh, we cannot uh, get the very good uh, on current. So uh, today, uh, the T fight is still not very useful uh, in the uh, commercial uh, uh, applications. And we, uh, if we use the 2D materials, you, you can see we can uh, achieve a very smaller SS and also the large uh, open current, uh, on current. So we can get the, uh, use the uh, 40, uh, 48 and the 52 and using the different uh, structures. And we just show, uh, show this example. And another logic, another uh, technology is uh, such as area saving that we have described before. And we can, uh, Fully, uh, you take the uh, 2D material advantage about the two surface. You know, if you, you use silicon here, and then you uh, also uh, all, uh, all we use the back material here, and then, uh, the source drain electrode cannot uh, connect the bottom uh, surface. So uh, if if you use the electric field to induce the uh, chart, the charge here, but you cannot get he, get it. But for the uh, 2D materials, uh, it naturally has the two surface. So because it's very, uh, it's ultra thin, the single atomic layer, uh, the nature point uh, characteristics, and the, you, and the source and source electrode and the drain electrode can connect the uh, both the top surface and the bottom surface together. So uh, such, uh, just like the we just like the, this to uh, from the traditional logic gate and the fold, folding it, folding it and the, uh, such like this, we use the single device to realize the two uh, transistor uh, functions. So we can, the area of a single transistor logic gate and it can be reduced the, uh, by the 50% here. And uh, interestingly, uh, because the 2D material has a lot of sensitive uh, uh, physical uh, properties and you can, uh, you can use the selectable optical switching, you can use the uh, light, to turn the logic, uh, to, to switch the logic from the on, uh, from the off to the end. And uh, the thickness also, uh, also modulate, also modulate the logic from the end to the all. And uh, it's very uh, uh, useful to the multifunctional uh, uh, device and the system. 
And we also try to uh, show our how to de demonstration this concept. We use the SRAM to demonstrate the, uh, to demonstrate its uh, application. And you know, from the traditional SRAM, it's very uh, it's uh, very uh, big, and it should be used uh, two uh, six uh, six uh, transistors. And uh, if you, you use this uh, such this transistor, you, do, you only use the two T transistor is okay. So the area efficiency uh, increased by the thirty percent. And uh, the second uh, killer application of two D material, I think, uh, is the flash memory. Uh, we have realized the uh, semi floating gate memory in two thousand and eight, uh, eighteen, uh, uh, yeah, eighteen. And uh, today we have a new technology that does not appear in uh, does not get published, but uh, it's very soon. And uh, you know, in the flash, uh, and you, in the flash, the dielectric layers actually uh, limit the, the flash speed because the uh, that uh, you should uh, tunneling uh, from the uh, electron from uh, can be tunneling from the channel to the uh, uh, to the floating gate and the, the efficiency is very low and so we uh, adopt the pin junction here and uh, you can uh, we can uh, improve the speed of memory uh, uh, very uh, remarkably and you can see uh, because when you inject the electrons it can be think of, thought as a uh, uh, Metal, metal, uh, metal wire, so it's very uh, quick. And uh, we can get the 10 nanoseconds. Uh, actually, if the 10 nanosecond signal from the, from the, uh, from the tools and uh, get uh, when they, when they uh, transferred to the device, it's a uh, little expansion. So uh, we can get the uh, 15 nanoseconds. And, uh, but uh, also uh, uh, compared to the uh, traditional flash, it can, uh, but 10,000, 10,000 increase in the writing speed. And also uh, we can get the, because we still have the energy barrier here. So we can, uh, we, we build a cascade barrier here and to achieve a long-term data rotation. The data rotation can be 10, sec 10 seconds. It, it is uh, about uh, 150 times than the DRAM. And we can uh, use, uh, use the uh, concept to uh, uh, change the pin junction structure, we can realize the both the uh, 40 nano, nanosecond from the writing and the uh, erasing. And we also uh, use the, the, this concept by uh, realized by the uh, uh, by the final uh, by the uh, by the final materials. And we can uh, embed the uh, use the homo uh, use the same materials but uh, uh, modulated by the uh, final electric field. And we, you, we, we can uh, realize the uh, retaining time more, much longer, much longer, about 100 uh, seconds. Second. And uh, the second one, uh, the, the second part is the how to use the 2D materials, the unique properties to create the new te technologies. We, uh, you can see we, ca we have realized, uh, we have proposed uh, uh, three applications to ease the silicon uh, problem, but uh, it's not a, uh, is not the full part. But actually, we should use the uh, unique properties uh, to create a new technology here. Uh, the most uh, most uh, critical problem here uh, today is the uh, so-called so uh, Von Neumann bottleneck. Because uh, as we all know, the processing in the CPU and the memory in the uh, some some memory parts. But uh, if you need some data, you must take the data from the memory parts and to the CPU, and uh, when, after the calculation, you must uh, deliver the uh, data to the memory. So there are a lot of traffic jam. So uh, also uh, heat and energy uh, waste here. So how about uh, how to uh, uh, how how to solve these problem problems? A lot of scientists have proposed about uh, like the near memory computing, and we can uh, we can put the uh, uh, calculation and the memory together uh, much closer and to save the uh, tr transfer uh, times. And also uh, uh, in-memory computing, we just realize the computing in the memory. And also the uh, Professor Chai Yang in Hong Kong and uh, in sensor computing. And you can uh, sense some uh, analog signals, but uh, you can process it there for uh, just in the sensor. So in order to uh, uh, Get the high energy transmission uh, by the Von Neumann architectures. 
So the new, near, uh, near memory or the near sense computing and can be shortened the uh, physical distance. And also, the, uh, just like uh, I, I have mentioned, the in-memory and in-sense computing uh, can be realized the in-situ computing in the memory and sensing unit. Uh, we, uh, we conclude some silicon based the CMOS and the hybrid CMOS uh, here as a, as a technology development roadmap here. We, actually, uh, we can realize the memory still SN learning nowadays is very big, a large uh, array. Compared to the traditional computing uh, technologies, the in-memory computing can reduce the energy consumption and improve the computing cap capability. And uh, here is uh, how to the new materials and the new talent technologies can be built some new chips and uh, how to uh, uh, drive uh, the, the uh, technology development. And the silicon and tra traditional memory steel materials actually in some, uh, also some has some challenges uh, about uh, the computing and the FSA and the bionic plasticity and the integration density. So why uh, we use the 2D materials to create a new technology uh, in such a research field? We know uh, we, we, we want to use the 2D materials about the ferroelectricity. It's a very stable uh, ferroelectric properties uh, in the atomic sickness. And a lot of people have uh, demonstrated. And the ferromagnetism also a stable and layer can be uh, modulated by the layer sickness. Uh, also, 2D materials uh, uh, such as uh, based the 2D uh, uh, tungsten set side and the device, the Thomas, uh, Thomas Muller has realized the sensing memory computing uh, in the uh, 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 three by three uh, array chips and also realized the very uh, fast, uh, nano, uh, fast uh, character recognition uh, function. And also, other case, use the floating gate uh, uh, transistor. Uh, to realize the uh, to realize the integration of logic and memory, and the head name is the logic in memory transistor. Also, actually, the structure is just like the uh, just like a, a, a flash uh, flash uh, memory also. And we actually we also uh, realize they uh, use the single transistor uh, uh, to realize the logic in situ memory function in 2017. And uh, we realize uh, we just also uh, use the 2D materials. And uh, as the as the floating gate uh, to stack here, and uh, if we uh, use the logic pause, and uh, meanwhile the logic uh, the calculation result can be uh, stored in the floating gate. Uh, uh, case just like the use the memory cell to realize the logic function. We uh, for for us the for our device, we uh, firstly we uh, try to uh, logic uh, have the computation also. And uh, then we uh, saved the saved the result in the memory part, but uh, it's a very insecure memory. Also, don't need the uh, tra uh, data transfer process. And then uh, we use the unique uh, properties and uh, such as the uh, uh, such as alpha uh, uh, NSE N two SE three. We use uh, these materials as a channel materials to construct the ferroelectric channel transistor here. And we can realize the ultra fast non volatile memory and also the uh, neural computing here. You can see we introduced some uh, the uh, thermal assisted modulation. We realized the high precision uh, uh, filter recognition and classification. And it's very interesting. We can see uh, there is a optim optimized uh, temp temperature. And uh, you can see uh, in the uh, in this temperature, we can get the highest, uh, highest, uh, uh, highest uh, 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 realized rate, and uh, compared with the software, is very, uh, very near. And we also use the uh, uh, 2D materials, uh, the organic and the inorganic hybrid head junctions to uh, neural computing, uh, neuromorphic computing, and. Uh, in the publication days, it's a, a highest topic, the highest value, uh, uh, not only for the weight change and also PPIs, it's uh, the highest value. It's because uh, the interface electron uh, trans transfer can be uh, effectively uh, modulated by the uh, 2D materials uh, uh, barrier, energy barrier. And we also uh, propose the new uh, concept here. Uh, we, may, uh, we call it the all-in-one device. 
so-called so all-in-one. Uh, the first is the it is uh, it looks like the same as the in-memory computing, but uh, actually we use the volatile memory and the non-volatile non memory function into the single device pair. And uh, you know, uh, for our brain, it, there is uh, three types of memory in our brain, the sensory memory and the short-term memory and the long-term memory. In the short-term memory and the long-term memory, it can turn it, uh, it can uh, it can turn it uh, uh, from the short time and full long term, it can uh, it can be turned into the uh, that is switchable. It is switchable. Uh, we also uh, realize this function uh, by this device. We use the uh, two different uh, interface here, and uh, here is the uh, uh, non memory, and the surface is a, use the surface charge as the volatile memory. We we realize the different function here. And uh, uh, after this, we uh, combined the uh, the the sense uh, into the device. And we can realize the uh, not only the memory but also the logic operation uh, use this use this the device structure here, and uh, it is the institute real time storage. When you uh, get the uh, logical results, it uh, the, the the results also be stored in the uh, in the floating uh, in the floating uh, gate. And uh, uh, by this uh, by this device. If you use the sensory, you use the optical light to illustrate it. We can uh, realize artificial visible information here, and uh, we can also uh, to try. Uh, uh, it is a very uh, com uh, it is a complete task from the image distinction, and uh, we can uh, reducing uh, reduce the time delay and energy uh, consumption here. So uh, uh, the the third part we want to introduce. How to integrate the such a uh, function together in, into a device? And you know, in silicon, in silicon technology, uh, if we want to get the 3D uh, integration, you need the TSV technology. But for the TSV technology uh, today, the the uh, the etching limit etching technology still limitation the whole device. So you cannot get the small size and the shorter interconnection. But for the 2D materials, you can just stack it with the Van der Waals uh, structure. So we can get the nanometer scale, uh, nanometer the scale uh, uh, vice the whole. So we can uh, improve the density uh, remarkably. Uh, the, the, the main, the main uh, advantage about the uh, 2D materials, it is the surface without a down bounds and it's a loss it, it allows the arbitrary stacking, uh, like, just like the logo uh, toys. So uh, the dense metal interconnections can be re replaced the TSV technology, and it can be directly stacked in uh, all in one system, memory, and computing layer. It may be the most uh, use, most useful uh, for the new applications here. And uh, uh, actually, a lot of panel scientists have do some things. Uh, uh, such as uh, Professor Duan has uh, realized the uh, the integration uh, by using uh, by using the solution method to prepare the vapor scale the 2D scene film and uh, form the function logic circuits and um, also uh, uh, Professor Duan also to realize the flexible uh, four inch uh, MOS2 modular uh, modular uh, function function uh, function uh, uh, circuits. And we also realize, uh, actually, we also realize some functions in integrations, but also, but a lot of paper uh, work has not uh, get uh, publications still uh, until now. And uh, we have realized the ETEC DRAM cells to realize the MAC functions, also uh, another type of in memory computing. And we also realize uh, with Professor Bao, we also realize the integration here. and. Uh, a lot of new uh, new uh, developments are still uh, in the uh, review, and uh, actually I, we, we just to want to show we use uh, art, uh, we we can use the two D materials can be realized uh, uh, can be realized the high performance wafer scale logic circuits can be realized, and uh, uh, we also do some wafer scale materials uh, fabrication and IC fab require long term evaluation. And we use the machine learning to improve the uh, uh, yield and the device performance performance here and uh, 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 about the uh, uh, carrier uh, carrier mobility and the threshold voltage uniformity 
and the on and off current and the substrate for the uh, SS also. And uh, we, uh, finally, we uh, showed the almost all the uh, uh, analog and the digital and the memory of the electronic process process can be uh, built with the only one uh, 2D semiconductors. So, and also the wafer scale uh, circuit arrays can be used as industry state of art design. Also, we can realize by the 2D materials. So, uh, here is uh, another uh, example. We use the uh, MOS2 circuit and the 2D uh, uh, two transistor uh, one capacitor configuration. We showed the uh, uh, MAC, uh, MAC operations here and the 1T1C here acts as the DRAM cell. It is a very typical uh, DRAM cell. And uh, another uh, transistor to use the modulation. And we can realize the uh, uh, long, uh, longer than the 10 seconds retain time here. And finally, we can uh, use, this, uh, use this device structure. We can, uh, uh, we can uh, recognize the head right digital, uh, digital uh, numbers. And finally, I want to give some uh, conclusions and uh, how to uh, develop, uh, develop the 2D materials in the uh, nodded assays. The first one is the material, material uh, growth, growth. And we should get the large area, high quality, and the uniform uh, the continuous uh, uh, materials. And uh, how to uh, achieve the directional stable power doping also. And for the fun functional, functional device, uh, not only we should uh, to uh, realize the new function, and also uh, the in the device we should uh, reduce the cont contact resistance and uh, uh, how to directional high precision transfer to the large area to the materials. To the materials, you know, we still uh, get the uh, wafer scale to the materials in the metal in some some not only not uh, the silicon substrates, and how to uh, to com uh, interface uh, compatible with the uh, a different uh, uh, heterogeneous functional device and, uh, uh, and uh, with the silicon ICs. And for the system integrations, we should uh, to, uh, get the, uh, to get the high uh, computing power uh, consumption. Currently, it still is not, uh, is not very high. And the system throughput rate and how to improve the integration reliability, just like, uh, et cetera. And uh, finally, uh, we, uh, our idea, uh, our thinking is the device and architecture with the on-2D materials is a very uh, brand new way to use the challenge in silicon IC, including uh, to, uh, solve the, uh, to solve the uh, energy area in facing and the memory delimers. And the benefits uh, from unique, uh, unique properties, the 2D materials enable the creation of new technologies beyond silicon ICs, such as uh, in-memory computing and in-sense computing and all-in-one uh, computing, just like this. And uh, I think uh, uh, more functional and the integrated 2D materials based on the logic and the memory chips uh, will be will appear soon and finally uh, we, i want to thank our collaborators uh, including the uh, professor wang and the hu and the chai and the liu uh, uh, and the uh, other scientists and the my students and sponsors and uh, 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 in this chance i want to introduce our uh, our journals and it's a high journal, uh, it's a local journal about uh, uh, of China. It's an uh, informat. Uh, and the editor in chief is Professor Li. And also the impact factor uh, this year is uh, may, maybe larger than 20. And uh, welcome to uh, a lot to, uh, welcome to your sub submission. And another journal is uh, uh, by our NSFC. And it's a fundamental research. The, the editor in chief is uh, Professor Hao. And uh, also to uh, uh, welcome the engineer and the material science and the information science uh, the papers. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the uh, talk, which includes a lot of uh, content. So we have plenty of time for the questions. Um, uh, so, uh, so I have a question for this uh, uh, sensing and memory and computing. So can you explain a little bit the principle there and uh, how it is constructed? What's the uh, oh, principle there? So oh, you start you for the questions. Yeah. Actually, uh, I think uh, I just want to show how we uh, how I think in this concept and uh, show some of our previous work to demonstrate it. 
But uh, actually, it's very useful. Uh, I call it the all-in-one device. I think uh, uh, a lot of uh, students may be also interested in this. And uh, because uh, all-in-one, I, I mean, is the sensor. Sensor, you can use the gas sensor, optical sensor, and another analog sensor, even for the various, the various communication sensor, it's also okay. Because the 2D materials has a lot of advantage in, in the gas sensor, in the, in the, in the optical uh, response, right? And, and uh, Professor Gao is a very expert here. And, uh, but in uh, uh, meantime, the 2D materials also can be served as a channel, uh, transistor channel here. The, tra the, the transistor channel uh, materials can sense, can sense the physical uh, uh, signals and uh, we use the physical signals can turn into a current. And uh, so we can uh, use this to as a calculation. That's a, that is the a, a sense and a, and a, uh, processing. And uh, if you get the uh, current in the channel, and uh, we, if we use the different structures such as floating gate, we can uh, sense the uh, uh, channel materials, the uh, channel materials, the, the charge in the the charge change in the channel material. So you can uh, store it the signals. So it, it uh, realizes the memory process. So you uh, by uh, by means uh, by using a single device, you can realize the sense processing uh, sensing processing memory uh, into a, in a single device. So I call it uh, uh, all in one device. Yeah. Thank you for the question. Okay. Thanks. Uh, so the second question is: You, you mentioned in this uh, large wafer scale uh, production, you need to, we need to improve the contact resistance, need to improve the growth condition. Uh, do you think here that this, whether it's a single crystal or multiple domain, this will affect this um, FET performance here? Yes, and a simple question. Yeah, it's a very good question. And uh, actually, uh, uh, actually. For the 2D material, for the electronics, for the integrated circuits, I think the uh, single crystal domain, uh, uh, how the largest the size of the single crystal domain is uh, doesn't matter. But uh, maybe uh, for the for the sensing for the optical electronic device, the domain is very critical. But uh, I think for the uh, electronic device, uh, I think it's not uh, it's it's it's, uh, it's not a critical problem because you you can. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, how large uh, how large the single uh, crystal domain uh, how large is? But the uh, be between the between the source and the drain, it is still a lot of domains. It's not a, a single crystal, and we don't need the single crystal here. Uh, uh, only we need is the high mobility here, the average mobility and the uniformity here. And if you we can uh, uh, get the polycrystalline uh, uh, single single uh, single layer, but uh, the average mobility is okay. I think is okay. Yeah, the uniformity and the mobility is uh, is most uh, important in the electronic device. Yeah. So how about the contact resistance? And is that a problem in the large scale? Uh, of course. But the contact resistance is much depends on the uh, process. Uh, not depends the actually no, not not depends on the physics, but the process. Actually, for the uh, different uh, uh, different uh, groups, maybe the contact resistance is, is different. For the different uh, process, is different. Actually, it's not a, 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 the same. Uh, actually, it's not a, a general problem. I think, yeah. So you think in the future it's possible to uh, make some uniform method to reduce this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, nowadays, uh, with the uh, 2D materials development and there's a lot of scientists, uh, a lot of funds here, and I, uh, 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 I don't know how to use English. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, the hope. The hope is uh, is much stronger than before. Mm, okay. <laughs> Thanks. So any other questions from the audience, please? please. Uh, yes, I, I have one question. Mm, could you comment on reproducibility of performance of such uh, thin atomically thin devices compared to silicon? Would it be repeatable or it's a great challenge or it's uh, very repeatable? Well, I think you, also, you are also not a native. <laughs> I cannot understand. <laughs> so can you repeat your question again, a little bit slower, thanks? Uh, uh, sorry, um, I'm uh, curious uh, on um, 
reproducibility of performance of uh, such atomically thin devices compared uh, to well-established silicon technology. Uh, Could you comment on that? Yeah, the reproducibility. So how can you, can you repeat? If you fabric uh, one device, yes, can you repeat? Yes, uh, rep reproducibility, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. But uh, actually, if you get the, uh, I mean, the so-called the large area, high quality and the uniform uh, materials, right? The re reproducibility is also improved. If you get the uh, uniform uh, materials every, every time, so you can get the good uh, uh, repro reproducibility, right? But the fact that they are very thin, uh, does it uh, matter uh, simply because they are thin, the chance of the error would be uh, higher than you, when you operate with a bulk material. Is it correct? Or? Uh, I, you, I don't know how to say. You have uh, developed some uh, AI method, right? So to increase the yield, maybe uh -huh, you yeah, okay. explain for the us, a little bit more. Okay. Uh, uh, for us, I think uh, uh, it actually it's, uh, it's developed by the Professor Bao. His work is very excellent. And uh, actually, uh, you know, in the 2D materials uh, fabrication or the uh, synthesis, a lot of uh, 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 factors uh, influence, uh, uh, to some in influence, right? But uh, you, you introduce the machine learning uh, uh, method, you can uh, get, a, you can optimize the device performance. Yes. And uh, you know, we can fix uh, in the uh, normal uh, master that we can fix one, uh, one uh, uh, parameters and uh, tune uh, other uh, parameters, okay? But uh, it's too many parameters. If you, you, you have too many parameters, it's a very large, uh, very huge work task. So if you apply the machine learning, you can just uh, to, uh, use the different, uh, use the different uh, uh, experiment results to apply the machine learning uh, uh, method, you can, uh, you can optimize the, but not the bias, but you can optimization, uh, get the optimization parameters here. Yes, and we uh, demonstrate it is a very effective uh, method, yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, any other questions? Yeah, Professor uh, Hong Jin. Yeah. Wait, well, can I ask a question? Uh, I'm yeah. not working in this field, but I just uh, find the talks very interesting. Uh, Professor Zhou Peng, very nice talk. So can I have a, a simple question? The, you know, regarding the, regarding the question mentioned just now about the uh, fabrication of such devices, you know, the silicon device is very, uh, it's very sensitive to impurities, right? If you've got some a, a dust, a very small, tiny dust, Particle impurities in the devices, the devices may fail. Or is this also such critical for fabrication for 2D material devices? Thank, thank you, Professor. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not working this field. It's okay. Uh, uh, actually, we, uh, in, the, in the beginning, we wanted to, uh, because the silicon IC, if you get the real application, I think, for the 2D materials, you must uh, to, uh, resolve some. Uh, Critical questions, uh, uh, maybe uh, such as the Professor Duan has, has said in the nature, maybe the silicon cannot do some something function, or the uh, silicon uh, technology cannot uh, uh, get the new function. I think uh, he's very uh, he's yeah. right. And uh, for the silicon, I say it's a very high uh, demand, uh, high requirement for the process. But for the two D materials, it still cannot reach that uh, uh, conditions. Uh, we just uh, in the in, in our uh, in our research field, we just want to show if we get some uh, new route to the uh, for the static IC, we maybe can be used for uh, as a, a com complementary, uh, some, some compatible with the static and do some uh, useful work for the static Actually, we, uh, actually we cannot compare with the static Yes. I see. Another question is that for many of these uh, devices, uh, especially three, five devices, people make this a ballistic transport, right? Make this a quantum devices with this yeah, a quantum yeah. transport, ballistic transport, right? So because uh -huh. for 2D materials in the vertical direction, it's just one layer. It also uh -huh. can be taken as, as a quantum. So I'm thinking that in this case, it, it, is a quantum transport is very a uh, common phenomenon compared to the silicon ICs. Okay. In 2D ICs. But, but uh, 
uh, I don't know how to, uh, we, we, we still uh, uh, cannot uh, observe the quantum effect in, in, the, in the electron device. Yes. And uh, uh, maybe some, someone uh, do some quantum, quantum device in, uh, by using a 2D material, right? Uh, but for the 2D transistor, it's, uh, they're still, uh, it's far away from the quantum effect. Uh, uh, so there's no such thing as a two-dimensional electron gas within the plane? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, there is, but need uh, very low temperatures, very low temperatures. Yeah, usually, usually, yeah, 2D gas is at the low temperatures, even for 3.5. Gun yeah. Gun uh, we want to, uh, as a pretend title, we want to do something with the silicon I say how to, uh, how to, uh, how to do some usable in silicon. But so we just use it, use it in the room temperature actually. Yeah. Yeah. And also a, a question that people always ask before, maybe it's already clear, but I forgot the answer is that uh, for for conventional semiconductor, we PN junction, we have a depletion regions, we have a well established built in field uh, depletion uh -huh. regions, right? But for two D yeah. materials, two atomic layer put together, how to define this PN junctions and depletion regions? Uh, a good question. But, but uh, <laughs> just the professor Yuan just to show this show something in the science. We can we we, we don't use the PN junction even not the PN junction also some. Uh, some uh, some uh, in fact here right a photo photo uh kung fu ma photo what 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 in fact also several uh already right but uh, uh, for uh, the uh, for the 2d uh, uh pin junction it also uh, maybe in the in the i think maybe in the uh, also in the contact surface there depletion depletion region just like the conventional uh, transistor because you cannot talk in here studio. And uh, yeah. we know in this, uh, just, uh, uh, for example, just the, the silicon, uh, silicon technology, if you get the pin junction, one is dot, dot, high dot P type, and another is uh, N dot. So the yeah. interface is the uh, depletion uh, space chart. Uh, space uh, chart region. region. Yeah. Space chart region. But for the, for the 2D materials, and you cannot, and even for the tungsten side side, actually is the bipolar, uh, bipolar semiconductors. If you uh, you you you, uh, uh, you uh, modulated by the uh, uh, um, uh, modulated by the electrical field, the electrical field also turn from N to P. So yeah. we cannot def uh, uh, define define the uh, very uh, precisely what is the P and what is the N yeah. region. So maybe this uh, space charge region and PN concept may not be. Uh applicable for 2D materials devices. I'm thinking uh, you put yeah, this maybe. two together. Yeah, maybe. maybe the concept does not apply anymore, like the uh, conventional semiconductors. Yes, we, we actually in, in the uh, in, in our device life we just uh, concerns the uh, uh, output current just like this that, but the uh, the, the how, uh, where is, uh, how to define the uh, region, maybe it's uh, still open for the research. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? So please uh, feel free to ask if you have any questions. So, okay. If not, let's uh, welcome, uh, let's, let's thank uh, Professor Zhou Peng again to give us a wonderful summary and uh, perspective for this field. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Gao, Professor Fang. Thank you. So I quit this seminar, Professor.